Hi everyone, today in this video we'll be taking a look at the OnePlus 10R and its new features, we'll also be doing a full review of the phone so you can decide if it's the right choice for you. So before we start, invite you to subscribe to my channel, it's easy and only takes a few seconds, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest videos, so let's go. The 10R is a compelling choice for a mid-range phone if you are looking to spend less than flagship prices. Highlights include the world's fastest charging, a flagship processor, 120Hz display, and a bold striped design. The OnePlus 10R is best thought of as an affordable version of the flagship OnePlus 10 Pro with some differences in the design, internals, and charging specifications. At the time of this review, the device is available only in India but is expected to launch in select markets worldwide. It's worth noting the phone is almost identical to the Realme GT Neo 3, OnePlus and Realme are owned by Chinese tech giant BBK Group. Design and Build The 10R has a new boxy design and is unlike any OnePlus device you might have seen till now. The phone weighs 186 gram and is about 8.2 millimeters thick. The build quality is decent but does feel plasticky and not quite the premium feel you would expect on OnePlus devices. Surprisingly I found the build quality of the Realme GT Neo 3 to be slightly better as it features a glass back. Even the OnePlus 9 RT feels more premium than the 10R. While the 10R should be comfortable to hold and use for most users, those with small hands might find it unwieldy. It feels almost impossible to believe that OnePlus decided to omit the familiar alert slider on the 10R which most OnePlus users swear by, a hardware feature also absent from the OnePlus 10T. He phone does not come with any IP rating either. The matte back doesn't attract fingerprints, but the camera bump is noticeable and tends to attract dust and smudges due to the glossy finish of my review unit Sierra black color. The SIM tray at the bottom lets you use two nano SIM cards in a dual SIM configuration. The 3.5mm headphone jack is missing but an adapter in the box would have been nice to have considering the brand includes a charger and a protective case in the package. The 3.5mm headphone jack is missing but an adapter in the box would have been nice to have considering the brand includes a charger and a protective case in the package. The case is of decent quality surprisingly and should protect the device for a reasonable time frame. Display and speakers. The phone packs a large 6.7-inch Full HD Plus Fluid OLED 120Hz display with HDR10 Plus support. The refresh rate can be manually configured to 60Hz or 120Hz. It's an excellent viewing experience with extensive options in the settings to configure the display, which is made from Gorilla Glass 5. The device uses an in-display fingerprint scanner which works well and is covered by a pre-installed screen protector. Dark mode is available, and an always-on display can be enabled from within the settings. My favorite feature is the canvas wallpaper which lets you generate a sketch from any photo in your gallery. There are minimal bezels around the display and in the middle at the top of the screen is a 16-megapixel punch-hole selfie camera. The audio from the stereo speakers does get quite loud with one of the speakers down-firing near the USB-C port and the other at the top. The audio quality could be better and sounded tinny at times. Dolby Atmos support is glaringly missing but there is Dirac audio instead. Specs and Performance the phone is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max processor that offers enhanced thermal control and reduced power consumption. It also features the Hyperboost gaming engine for improved gaming performance. This chip is paired with 8 or 12 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of storage. The variant I tested in this review comes with 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. There was no noticeable lag during regular usage and the performance according to benchmarks is almost as good as the Snapdragon 888 flagship chip of 2021's OnePlus 9 Pro. In regular day-to-day -day usage, the 10R is snappy and wickedly fast even while running resource-intensive applications. Thermal performance is noticeably good thanks to the plastic body and vapor cooling. The phone boasts a large vapor cooling area which helps the phone dissipate heat faster than usual. Even after extended periods of heavy usage, the 10R doesn't get noticeably hot. Only during high-speed charging does it get mildly hot at the back, which is not surprising. Benchmarking the phone with the popular Geekbench and GFX Bench apps shows the 10R can hold its own against phones much more expensive. Cameras 
The main camera is a 50 megapixel sensor with f/1.8 aperture and images are shot at 12 megapixel by default, but an option to shoot in full 50 megapixel resolution too. Photos taken in daylight or under good lighting conditions come out well with not much to complain about. Images captured on the main camera are very good and contain a lot of detail. Low light performance is good too. But I can't say the same about the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera which delivers average images and seems like a downgrade from the OnePlus 9RT 16 megapixel sensor. The 2 megapixel macro camera is also a very mixed bag. The front-facing 16 megapixel camera does not live up to the expectations and images are washed out and noisy. This is more evident in low light. The various camera modes are self-explanatory in the camera UI and easy to use. Night mode gets enabled automatically if the light is not sufficient, while AI enhancement is available and detects the surroundings to optimize the image, although it did not make a huge difference. Battery life and charging. There are oddly two version of the 10 are available with different battery capacities. Both use split cell technology, where the overall capacity of the battery is made up from two identically sized smaller batteries. This allows for safer charging at the fastest possible speeds. I reviewed the higher-end model with 12GB RAM and 256GB storage that has a 4,500mAh battery and 150W wire charging. I managed to charge the phone from 0 to 100% in around 20 minutes, which is an incredible feat showing off the phone's charging time to friends could very well become your new favorite pastime. One of the best things about this phone is watching the battery percentage increase in real time in front of your eyes while plugged in. It is incredible and I will surely miss it on other devices. What is even more impressive is that the phone does not heat up considerably while charging. You can also get a 12GB or 256GB model with 80W charging and a larger 5000mAh battery, or an 8GB or 128GB version also with 80W and 5000mAh. In terms of battery life, the 4500mAh built-in battery I tested can last an entire day with heavy usage with 120Hz refresh rate enabled and can go longer if set with 60Hz and heavier usage. There is a high performance mode which offers a boost in performance by sacrificing battery life and a further option to turn off rapid charging for those who are concerned about battery health. OnePlus includes a SuperVOC power adapter in the box and it is rated at 80W or 160W depending on the model. Wireless charging is not built into the phone though but would have been nice to have considering many devices from the competition offer it in the same price range. Verdict The OnePlus 10R is not the traditional OnePlus phone users will be tempted to upgrade to but is aimed at bringing a new set of users to the brand. The 150W fast charging is not a gimmick and works well every single time, and the novelty hasn't worn off for me even after using the device for several weeks. In terms of features, the 10R is fully loaded and there is not much one can complain about except for the mediocre camera performance and minor software glitches. Unless the above are deal breakers for you, the OnePlus 10R is a great all-rounder and worth considering. In terms of the competition, you could consider other mid-range phones Realme GT3 Neo, Xiaomi 11T Pro 5G, or Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G.